Physically, they cut very different figures. Costa is maybe 5'8", five, 5'9", five, very powerful, very stocky. Adam, a little over six foot, and he's a, uh, definitely a guy, look at that, aggressive, not even a foot sweep, straight up leg kick there from Costa. Yeah, Joao physical. makes it no secret that he's a physical fighter. Yeah. Super aggressive. No surprise there to see Wodzinski pull guard. His, uh, his style is very much the butterfly guard style. He wants to elevate. He wants to, he wants to get underneath his opponent's hips with those hooks. But he's going to have to deal with that aggressive jumping guard pass there from Costa, who gets an advantage for that near guard pass. That was really nice. Really nice timing from Joao. I think Adam wasn't quite ready for that. Yeah, but I uh, was able to regard effectively there. Costa looking for that strong upper body control, the underhook and cross face. But look at the way that Adam regards. Not only is he sliding his near side knee, his inside knee through, but you'll see him look to insert his left hook as well. And actually Costa's countering that by dropping his hip to the mat, almost switching his hips through. It's a classic butterfly guard sweeping position is that wizard, the overhook with the hook. And there's exactly what Wodzinski what Zinski tried to do was use the overhook, the whizzer, plus the, the left butterfly hook to elevate Costa, but Costa, his base, his base is very, very strong. Yeah, and this matchup's so interesting because Adam's game is tailor-made for the pressure passer, but he does have to withstand the, the fire. It right. takes a lot of effort, and uh, it makes for a dynamic match. Close guard position here now. You're right, it is almost a... Uh, Adam has to draw his opponent into the guard to make that connection. And somebody like Costa, well, he's a bulldozer. He wants to go forward, go into that guard. Look at this straight arm lock attack here from Wodzinski. Going high with that palm-to-palm -palm grip. Costa has to be careful here. He's uh, linking his hands, but that elbow is dangerously exposed. Not out of danger Adam yet. Adam uses a sweep. Yeah, he's looking at a sweep here. Starts to unbalance Costa, but Costa manages to remain in top position and resets. Joao looking to pass again with heavy pressure, but Adam Again, entering his deep bag of tricks here and tools to look for a variation of the butterfly sweep. Traps the arm now with this unique grip that he has. Looking for basically a, a Khmer trap here at this point. Joao being very patient here. As Adam looks to remove Joao's arm from his, his hip line there. Costa's doing a, uh, a better job here of keeping his elbows tighter and his, his body lock a little lower. He wants to keep those elbows as tight as possible. Adam's digging for the underhook. Overhook on the left side now. Classic battle here between the top, the top player and the guard player. But that arm's starting to get extended. Look at that. The Wodzinski's walking his shoulders back. And he's going to try and use the shoulder crunch to sweep again. Switching directions. Costa's jumping over the top and manages to get his arm free once again. Great base from Costa. Really doing a nice job of defending Adam's sweep attempts. But also not looking to advance too aggressively. He is up by that lone advantage here. Well, he is, he, I mean, he hasn't let off the pressure. That's one thing you can say is that uh, quite often we see that when somebody gets a, a lead on the, on the board, even if it's just one advantage, they, they'll often retreat and they'll stay on the outside and they'll avoid engaging as much as possible. You can't say that about Costa. He has been putting the pressure on non-stop so far in this match. 
and he's getting higher on the upper body. Look at that deep underhook, cross face, sprawling down on the near side leg. Adam, though, able to recover guard and will attempt his attack sequence once again. Now Adam making a good connection here. Body like grip over the back. Releases that for an overhook instead. The corner for Wardzinski calling for him to go back to the body lock. Adam's doing his best to disrupt the base of Costa any way he can. But Costa is just so heavy on top. Switching. He's going back to that shoulder crunch, the, the, the arm lock attack up high. and Has a solid bite on it this time and gets the sweep. Adam Wodzinski comes up on top. But it looks like he was maybe took a, a blow to the face there. So he doesn't get sweep points because he didn't. He didn't confirm the position. It's just an advantage. I felt like Adam maybe backed off there. He could have yeah, stayed on top, but I think they played a maybe, little too cool, maybe. But I, I, I don't know. It looked to me like he took a shot to the face and he actually backed off for a second there. Can't stop until the ref says so. Yeah, you know, that's great a, point. Great point. But in any case, earns him the advantage. And now he's also in another great spot to sweep. Joel is able to back out. But we have seen consistently that the decisions have been going to the pa passer in these yes. very narrow margin matches here. So I, I would not be comfortable if I was Adam with a tied score. No, you can't afford that at whatsoever. Adam now climbing up his guard. I'm looking to, again, tackle maybe a straight arm lock, but Joao pulls it free of danger. Joao really making no effort here to get out of the guard of Adam Wartzinski. Yeah, his defensive posture is so solid. What do you think Adam needs to do here at this late stage, Chase? He's got a minute left, and it's tied on the scoreboard. What do you think? Do you think he needs one big move to make an impression on the judges? I think so. It, you know, it is very close here. Joao has been extremely defensive in the last half of the match, but again, we've seen throughout the day the passer being rewarded for their efforts. The winner of this match does go on to face Pedro Mourinho in the semifinal of the heavyweight division. Adam 25 lone, seconds now. Adam is the lone non-Brazilian in these quarterfinal matches and the only one with a chance of getting through into, into the semi-final. One last arm lock attempt here from, 
from Wodzinski, but I feel that it might not be enough. Time is called. It's going to go to a decision. 0-0, zero, zero, one advantage apiece. Let's see how they score it. I would not be surprised if Costa takes this one. As you mentioned, Chase, the decisions have, in general, been going to the, the top player. But let's see which way they call it. It's unanimous for Wardzinski. Wow. That is very interesting. I think the work rate in that match, the, the sweep attempt was probably one of the biggest factors also. Costa did slow down in the second half. True, with Adam true. generally dictating the he pace. He's definitely insisting upon the, uh, upon the attacks more. And ha actually had sort of deeper submission entries, let's say, while not solid submission attacks, but deeper submission entries than, than Costa had near guard passes.